I'm at Rice. And I'm Nathan Carriaga with your October 6, 2016 news. Stay tuned for the latest and greatest in PHS news. <laughs> October 10th to October 14th, Josh Jamaica's graduates, also known as JAG, is having a flower fundraiser during lunch. For $1 each, teachers or students can purchase a beautiful flower to give to someone they feel needs a lift of happiness. The event was originally planned for Sweetest Day, it's October 15th, but the flowers still have to be purchased for your sweetie. They can also be purchased as a random act of kindness for somebody who needs extra cheering up. I'm Jesus A. I'm Jesus B. I'm Juan Garcia. I'm Devin Britton. I'm Nicole with PTV Sports. Stay tuned for details. Now it's time to kick off our sporting news, so here we go. Today at 5 p.m., girls soccer will go head-to-head -head in a gruesome battle in their first round of sectionals against Warsaw. At 5.30 p.m., freshman football will be at Concord to take on the Minutemen. 6 o'clock, volleyball is challenging the North Ridge Raiders. The Rocky started slowly in the NLC contest. They gave up a safety on the third play of the game, falling behind 2-0. In the second half, Benji Nixon scored from four yards out, and Jeremy Drudge added the extra point to put the Rockies closer at 12-7. The Rockies fell in a tight battle to the Minutemen, 19-18. The loss drops the Rockies to 3-2 in the NLC and 4-3 overall. This Friday, the Rockies will be facing off against Goshen in the Rockies' last away game of the season. After a heartbreaking loss to Concord last week, the Rockies will hope to finish off the season strong with a win these last two games. Earlier this week on Tuesday, several local torchbearers had the honor of carrying the bicentennial torch as it passed through Marshall County. PHS is exceptionally proud of two of our students who were selected to transport the torch throughout Marshall County. Cameron Riddle, a PHS freshman, and Gary Garver, a PHS senior, were both selected by a local committee. He started his historical journey at the Marshall County Historical Museum, and he ended right before Finland Point. It is that time of year again. LJH is playing the second annual Fall Festival, which is a fundraiser for our school. So, selling items, come on out and enjoy a haunted school and trick or treating. Please mark your calendars. I've been waiting all morning and even last night to come to think about it. What are we having for lunch today, Matt? So, yeah, you must be hungry. Today for lunch, we are having beef nachos with refried beans, corn, and of course, a green vegetable bar. Wow, that sounds delicious. Last week's PTV trivia time question was, what's the most used app on your phone? The classroom that called in the right answer first was Mrs. Legan's room. Photo journalist Juan Garcia and our PTV crew delivered their sweet fries, a couple bags of donuts. Congratulations to Mrs. Legan and her class on winning the PTV trivia contest. By the way, if you were wondering what the answer was, it was Facebook. Hey, Jesus, do you know what time it is? Why? It's trivia time! Yes, that's right, PHS. It's time to get down to the most of your favorite segment. And today's trivia question is, who is the Beatles' first drummer that preceded Ringo Starr? If you think you know the answer, call extension 1341 now. Again, who is the Beatles' first drummer that preceded Ringo Starr? If you think you know the answer, call extension 1341 right now. By the way, a few members of our PTV crew are going to be starting a bi-weekly podcast discussing movies, TV shows, and music. Make sure to keep a lookout for it on our PTV YouTube channel. Also, one last quick announcement. WNIT, the public television station out of South Bend, is looking for a handful of people to record video things they love about Plymouth. Yeah, it's for an hour-long documentary that is called Our Town Plymouth that will be airing in December. You don't need special skills, you just need to know a few important things. So, if that sounds like something you're interested in, just contact Judy Lukowski, our TV teacher, and she can give you the contact information. 
Well, that is all the time we have for you today, guys. Make sure you stay tuned every week for our show, which always includes the infamous PTV trivia time. I'm Matt Rising. That makes the story I got. Have a great day, and thanks for watching. <laughs>